Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in the Yamaha Rhino 660. It's very similar to the 450 and the newer 700. The capacities change a little bit if I remember properly. Other than that, the procedure is the same, the sizes are the same. Let's get started. Alright, here's what you're going to need. 17 millimeter ratchet for the drain plug and for the new K&N filter it has a bolt on the top. If you're changing the spark plug, I'm going to, it happens to be that one right there. Can you see it? There you go. That's a spark plug. I change it every time I change the oil and every time I change the air filter. It is 2.11 quarts if you're changing the oil filter. I'm using 20W50. Yes, that seems heavy, but it regularly is 100 over 100 degrees where I live. When you're out riding on trails and stuff, you really don't want it to be, you know, thinning out on you. Not to mention I'll go mud riding, and that's really hard on oil, get hot and everything. Moving on, flashlight, as long as you don't have underfloor lighting. Nice long oil filter. A lot of paper towels because changing oil filter makes a mess. Underneath the machine, you want to make sure you have a drain pan. Paper towels I was speaking of. Let's get started. Alright, we're here under the machine on the passenger side. With that being the front and this being the back. You see the larger hole out of all of them? Right yonder. That's where your drain plug is. It's 17 millimeter. You can kind of see it up through there a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, you can see it. I'm just going to go ahead and break that loose. And we will start draining the oil. I think everybody knows what draining oil looks like, so I'm going to skip ahead to the next part. Alright, next you're going to want to remove your seats and center console to get access to the engine. If you're wondering, your air filter is in this box. It's a simple foam filter media with oil in it fits over a sleeve that fits in there. Your spark plug is back here. You can kind of see it there. You gotta lift the bed up and you can get to it there. So it's not too bad. I would suggest changing the spark plug when the engine has cooled off because it's right over the header. Um, I ran the machine for a few minutes to warm it up a little bit. So it's warm to the touch but not burn yourself on it too much. Oil's draining down below. We're going to take the oil filter off right now. They sell a wrench that fits on there. They also sell the little sleeve clamps that fit on there. I always just use a nice big pair of channel locks. See if I can do this one-handed. Another suggestion before you remove the oil filter, I would say this is probably a design flaw on the part of Yamaha, is shove a paper towel under there ahead of time, because it's going to make a mess. Try and sop up as much of that oil as possible. Uh, so that thing's probably about three quarter full of oil right now. When you crack it loose, all that oil is going to dump out. So you get a good squeeze on it. Pop her loose. Mm. I'm going to have to switch hands here. Hold on. Uh oh. Yeah, clickety clack camera. Eh, oily hands ain't helping. There we go. I also got the torque measurements for some of you torque Nazis that don't know how to use a wrench. As you can usually feel when something's where it's supposed to be. Here it comes. It's making a mess already. Gotta pressure wash that out of there. It's gonna make a bigger mess. There it is. One McNasty oil filter. I'll drop that down here for now, out of the way, so I don't kick it over. You see all the oil that spilled out? I'll try and clean that up. I'll let that paper towel do its thing. 
Now, before you install your new oil filter, you want to make sure you oil the O-ring so it doesn't get stuck like that one was. Luckily, if I remember properly, this K&N filter comes pre-lubricated. I think some of the Yamaha do one, too. See, this one is not pre-lubricated. Sometimes I have a plastic film over here, and this has got oil on it. It doesn't, so take some of your fresh oil, smear it on there, make sure it's all happy. Um, now's a good time. We'll pull the dipstick out. Make sure everything's draining just fine. It's down here. You can kind of see it. There it is. We're going to need that in a little while when we go to refill everything. There's your dipstick. Now I'm going to lubricate that oil filter and get ready to install it. And I'm going to clean up this mess. So I'll be right back. Alright, I got the oil filter installed, pre-lubricated, cleaned everything up best I could with some brake clean and some rags. Got your torque specs for you if you're interested. Focus. Alright, we got 2007 660 Rhino, 2.11 quarts with filter change, which I have done. These are your oils. Yamaha recommends 10W30 Yamalube for if you're in a negative, like if it freezes, if you're running in cold weather, 10W30. If you're running in above freezing, which is what I'm trying right there, you run 1040. Or if you live in Africa hot, 25 or 20W50. I don't know why I wrote a 25. Um, your oil filter number is a Canon 303, if you didn't see it before. 17 millimeter bolt for drain and filter. Your torque values are 12 foot-pounds for the filter and 22 foot-pounds for the plug. Um, let me show you what 12 foot-pounds is because I don't feel like breaking out a torque wrench for an oil filter. So, you turn it until it's touching with one finger, go to the end of the wrench, keep turning until it gets tight. So now I can't push it with one finger anymore. We're going to click one more, two fingers, click, 12 foot pounds. You don't want to put that thing on there tight. You put it on there too tight, it's going to be not only a pain to get off, but you have a chance of damaging the threads on the little insert. Same thing as your drain bolt below. When you go to tighten that up, tighten it until it's snug. Quarter turn. That's it. That's all you need. There's a little copper cross, uh, cross washer. You change every three or four oil changes that's made to keep that from leaking. You tighten it too much, you'll damage things and it'll be a pain in the butt to get off. So, moving on, I'm about to put the drain plug back in and we're going to fill this thing up with oil. It'll be time to go ride. <laughs> 